Uh, welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode one of a podcast we're hopefully going to try to do every week. There might be a few weeks we skip here and there. Uh, so obviously, some of you guys have been asking for this for a while, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it here. So what will be on it as far as stuff goes, we will talk about some farm sim stuff. We'll talk about some police stuff and just some random stuff. I mean, that's kind of just going to be the, the flow of it, really. So um, we will, right now you are seeing, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, you're just going to see the screen you see right now, which is going to say Farmer Cop Podcast, have my logo on it and say episode one. Um, that's just what we're going to do for now. Eventually, as we progress, I'm planning to kind of build like a little studio setup um, where we'll be able to have it on video. I'm doing it with someone else and we'll bring them in here in just a second. Talk about them. As far as the platforms that this is going to be on, obviously, I'll upload it to YouTube. I'm going to try to do Wednesdays as far as when I upload this, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to. Try to upload it to YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, and other places that do podcast type things. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. But yeah, so who's going to be on it? It's going to be me, obviously, is going to be on it, as well as my friend Thomas, who's here with me. He's going to be on it every week. Uh, we may occasionally throw on like a guest or something like that, but for uh, the first little while, it's just going to be us on here. So um, that's the plan as far as everything goes. So Thomas, take it away. Tell us about you. Hi, my name's Thomas. Um, I come from a background of family farmers. My family, when they immigrated to the United States, have been farming starting in New York, and we slowly trekked our way to the west coast and wound up in Washington farming crops like buckwheat, wheat, corn, potatoes. Um, and now I work a desk job. So Perfect. I have some fun stories that I might be sharing about that later on. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially me. I mean, Farmer Cop met when we came to this town that we live in. Yep. Yep. Thomas and I go to the same church here in uh, the, the anonymous town that I live in. That we live in. We live in honestly yeah. in this town. No, people here know who we are, but no. <laughs> uh, so it's actually the first time I've ever said my name to anybody. Yeah, this is the first. I didn't even Besides know his you name. Farmer I didn't know. I didn't know his name before this. He knew me as Farcraft, and I knew him as T. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, so yeah, we're we're both goofballs. We will feed off of each other and just. Yeah, so this is it going to be chaotic? Yeah, that's it's going to be chaotic, but that's just the way it is. We have some talking points we'll get through as we go through things and stuff like that. If you guys, I will, I'll talk about me real quick because in case you found this and you you're not here, be, I don't know why you'd be here honestly if you didn't subscribe to the Farmer Cop. Yeah, like, <laughs> like I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you might want to reassess a few things, figure that out first. But anyhow. Uh, so a little bit okay or maybe you're newer to the channel i guess that's a better way to phrase that if you're new to the channel and you don't know who i am or very much about me um i am a full-time police officer that's what i do for uh my day job well right now it's a night job but you know i just kind of it's whatever job they make it but yeah i've been doing that for four years i've been a police officer for four years um before that i changed tires for a while for a company to remain anonymous um and i don't know if, i don't know if that would give it away or not. i guess probably will not it's a big company but anyhow anyhow you don't get to know where i work that narrows it down no one knows anything about significantly. it significantly worked for a large tire company changing tires uh, redacted. <laughs> redacted and then obviously you guys know me as farmer cop i've been on youtube now for um gosh march 23rd of this year was two years so um we're recording this right now the morning of april 16th i just got off a graveyard shift um, which is fabulous. And uh, Thomas just woke up because he's a normal human being and he sleeps in a normal schedule like most normal people do. Uh, I, however, do not have a normal schedule, as you guys know. So it is what it is. But yeah, um, so we'll probably start out this week. And I'm not, I want to also preface this as well. Uh, or actually, no, one more thing real quick. Uh, if you guys have stuff you guys want to talk about or things you think we could deal in here that would be entertaining to you in any way, shape, or form, uh, if it's entertaining to you, I'm sure we'll be entertained as well. So that'll be that'll be great. But you just leave that down in the comments. Um, if you're watching this on Spotify or some other platform, you can always message me. Um, either you can either send me an email at farmercop911 at gmail.com, or you can uh, message me on Discord if you're part of the Farmer Cop Discord. Or I also have a Facebook. I've I haven't checked it in a while. Probably should check that. There's probably a lot of messages on there. Anyhow, I do have the <laughs> I do have a Facebook that I check uh, semi annually. Uh, so <laughs> I need to check it better, but anyhow, I always forget it. Did your work schedule just change or something? <laughs> yeah, no. well, I haven't like I've well since moving in the new house and stuff. It's like I've been, I think I'm a month behind on comments right now. Oh wow, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow is right. This, I mean, it's. Were yeah, you behind probably... on your emails though? Oh yeah. Those, your email has nine one one in it. 
That means everybody that's emailing you, it's an emergency. They, if you are emailing me because it's an emergency, you need to not do that. Don't that's call 911. Sure. Email 911. No, 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 no. Call 911 is fine. Do not email 911. <laughs> <laughs> you actually can do like a text to 911. You? You know, yeah. Can you? Yeah. You really? can text 911. A lot of places have it. That's convenient. Yeah. I think it's, it's, it's so like if you're like... Oh, if you're like in a hostage situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are yeah. we not allowed to say that? Hostage situation? Yeah. No, we can say that. Okay. Unless you're... Do you need to text 911? <laughs> Are you in a hostage... Thomas is no, uh, that as well. Uh, that's not why I was wondering about that. His phone. <laughs> I was like, that's a very convenient thing. What is the say. number you text for nine one one? I need, I need hmm. to know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you do? Is it actually nine one one? I think it you is. Just text 911. I can't imagine it. Should we try it out? Do they, no. This no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, guys, with a pause of the podcast, the would you respond? I would definitely not respond. I yeah, am you're not at work. Oh gosh, I'm I'm sure. I mean, what else would it be? They're about like you can always text nine one one, but the number is one eight hundred seven six five. You know, it can be some ridiculous <laughs> number. They're like, just make sure you memorize that in case there's an emergency. Oh man. Oh god. They take emojis. What if I describe my entire emergency situation with emojis? <laughs> <laughs> that could be its own like piece of the podcast. They're like, all right, what? How can we describe this emergency situation Ooh. with only emojis? Yeah, we and that's how that. ideas are born, right there. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Write that down. We need this one. Okay. We'll, we'll type it out later. But that's that's a good one. Uh, we will talk about some farm some stuff, as I mentioned. Um, I'm not here to compete with DJ Goham and Clutch Simulations for the Farm Sim Show. If you're looking for straight up the best of the best farm sim news stuff, go check out those guys. If you haven't checked out DJ Goham or Clutch Simulations, you need to check them out anyways. Uh, fantastic guys and fantastic content creators. Uh, good friends of mine and good friends of the channel. So make sure you guys go check them out as well. But uh, yeah, so farm sim stuff. Next week on April 19th, uh, Precision Farming is coming out. I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. Uh, Precision Farming, in case you didn't know, Thomas, you probably don't know anything. I probably don't know. Thomas does not, also, by the way, too, Thomas does not play this game. Really, have you ever played this game? Um, No, I've seen YouTube videos on it. One of Perfect. yours, a couple nice. of other guys. Of course. Well, but... you have to watch my videos. It's so true. I am subscribed. Also. Perfect. Thomas is probably, you're probably one of my first subscribers. I think so. Probably. You're probably in the group of friends that I told about it and told yeah. to get subscribed to it. So that makes sense. We've got an OG subscriber up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do I get any special perks? Uh, yes. I guess I get to be on a podcast. Yeah, you get to be on the back. podcast. <laughs> That's a special perk. I don't... Oh, my gosh. I'm on a car farmer cop podcast. <laughs> Right now, I'll be getting messages. When do I get to be on the podcast? That <laughs> was one of your first. Uh... It's not because we're friends. Some people like it's message me. They'll be like, first subscribers." <laughs> Some people message me. They'll be like, and I don't want to like make fun of them too bad, but they'll be like, "I was subscriber forty nine thousand seven hundred thirty two. I'm like, "Thumbs up to you, my friend." I have got you beat. Whoever that is. <laughs> whoever that is. <laughs> I think I was like number ten or something. I think I was the first one to subscribe to myself. That's right. Which makes sense. That does make sense. It would make sense that you get the honor of yeah. you know, being. I get to be so. I am farmer cop and subscriber. I'm the one. most important one. I am the first subscriber to this channel. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> we were worried that we wouldn't be able to talk for however long. That was very we're worried. Gonna, we're we're not even past the intro yet, and we're ten minutes in. Good. It's perfect. I love it. Okay, so uh, precision, precision farming. farming. Yes. Let's get back on topic, FC. Yeah, I'm sorry precision farming here so there's some things you can do. i don't even know anything about it <laughs> i don't know so there's some environmental score factors so things you got to do to get like the best yield um so there's like a hundred there's the 100 point system um so like you can get 15 points if you soil sample 30 points uh based on your nitrogen levels which is fertilizer 15 points based on your ph value so there's science involved not really oh. uh 10 points for reduced tillage Reduce so tillage. What does that even oh, mean? is that the thing where if you till the the ground, it's technically releasing carbon dioxide and it's harming the environment? Well, this oh maybe it is. I don't know. But so this says this says you shouldn't till. Yeah, because so it's more environmentally that, friendly. Because if you uh, expose uh, undersoil, you're heart hurting the environment. Uh, FC. Why well, didn't? But it's also a video game. So no, but you should you should have moral obligation. <laughs> to do this it doesn't matter but i I play the game i'm just throwing <laughs> chemicals on there i'm like yeah it's just just how could you so many, so many chemicals and you get 30 points for weed control which that makes that makes sense 30 points for spot spraying 20 for mechanical 
15 for spraying the whole feed, field, and then 10 for no weed control. So you still get points even if you do nothing. So does points quantify... What does that mean? My guess is um, it'll be if you do all those things, you'll get 100% increase in your yield. So it'll be set at 100%, oh. and you'll probably get 100 So you'll probably get like double your yield. Total score 100. That's absolutely not true because you have to till for more yield in real life. <laughs> yep, that makes sense. I don't... Okay, okay. Should I not be bashing the game that you make your livelihood on? No, no, you can, you can bash the game. Okay. That's why you're here. You're here to bash it. But look, the University of Reading. That's interesting. The, the, and the oh. University of Hohenheim. Hohenheim? Hohenheim. Hohenheim. They would disagree. They're the geniuses behind it. They would disagree with me. I don't know. They probably okay. wouldn't. They probably would agree. They're like, they're like, all right, take it easy. We had to make it like a video game possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you have to actually want to do the things that we're right. thinking. And then uh, the other thing that they, uh, this is the most recent thing on us. But yeah, environmental scores. What other things do they have on, uh, on, on uh, precision farming? They released some other stuff. I want to look back further. Where was their last um, thing that they had? Oh, here we go. Another link to another thing here. Um, what does this one say? Managing heterogeneous manure. I don't even know what that means. Oh. Do you have any, any comments on um, that? Um, I don't remember what the word heterogeneous means, but I don't know. Do you typically work with manure in I don't. Farming it's just sim? a pain. Yeah. It's just a pain to work oh, with. Oh, yeah, it is. So I just, yeah. I just, I don't use it. That hardly well, ever. It's just way easier to throw chemicals down. <laughs> so it's difficult about using manure <laughs> instead of... Well, you have to, so like, in the game, like, you have, like, well, first off, you either have to, I guess you can buy it or something like that, but like you typically like in order to get it, you'd have to like, if you want to produce it yourself, you have to have cows, right? Right. Or cows, the only thing, yeah, I think cows are the only thing that might produce it. The pig, I don't even know how to play the game. So I'll be honest. I don't know how to play the game, guys. But yeah, I think cows, cows <laughs> for sure produce it. I, I can't. I think cows I poop. can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'm. Well, it's funny because like you don't get manure from horses in the game. Are you kidding me? No, you don't get it. Oh, interesting. And chickens, of course, you don't get manure from them. It'd be so obnoxious to try to get any uh, amount of manure. To... I suppose that's probably because you don't have enough horses or chickens. Could you imagine having enough horses to like for it to be feasible for you to harvest their manure? That that was so, so many horses. So many horses. That's so many so horses. Many horses. <laughs> Yes, we have this uh, horse farm with 15,000 head of yeah. horses. Oh, what are you farming them for? They're, they're manure. They're manure yeah. horses. <laughs> they're, manure. they're very expensive. They're ex that is the <laughs> most expensive way to get manure. <laughs> we have 15,000 horses. 15,000 years of breeding to get them for maximum manure production. <laughs> That'd be so obnoxious. Hey, this is a great so game. Much. I would love it. But you can't get it from you can't get it from horses. I think pigs will provide it for you. What are there? Oh, sheep don't you don't get it from sheep either. There's only five animals in game, which I'm actually kind of bummed about. And here's why: those five animals were in the previous game, right? Farming server 19. We're in farming server 22 now. 19 was before, and then before that was 17, then 15, then 13, then 11, then nine, okay. then eight. The math checks out. But it goes eight, nine, eleven. 13, 15, 17, 19, 22. There's some random gaps. I mean, it, well, we live in a world where Windows versions sometimes just omit the number. <laughs> they just do so whatever they want. I'm, That's true. Kudos to Farming Simulator for, just for keeping the numbers in there. Perfect, perfect. But anyhow, they have... Uh, <laughs> where was I going with that? Oh, we were talking about animals. Yeah. So Farming Simulator 17 had... If I remember correctly, I could be wrong on this. If I remember correctly, Farming Simulator 17 had four animals. It had chickens... Um, well, I guess there you can have a dog now. I don't remember when they introduced the dog. You can have like a dog house, and then just the dog runs around. You can pet him. It's, I don't. It's just, that's it's just a feature, I guess. In case you get lonely. Yeah. Yeah. In case you get lonely, like ah, I'm farming alone. Uh, Good dog. Getting lonely. Your dog. You can. About farming. Your dog will run in front of traffic and just not die. It just goes everywhere. Your dog that's will awesome. literally go anywhere. I've hit so I have run. Wasn't an immortal. Dog. I know. No kidding. Could you imagine? If that was like, I have killed so many dogs. <laughs> I have run. So many dogs over. They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. I just run over like, what are you doing? And sometimes like the instinct is like swerved. So I'm like driving a truck. Like, oh god, there's no no. The road. But anyhow, <laughs> so there's there's always I don't know about the right talk with the dog, but like farmable animals, right? If that makes sense. Uh, there was chickens, mm -hmm. cows, yep, sheep, yep, and pigs. Okay. Four common animals. 
Farming Simulator 19 came out. So those were in 17. 19 came out, and the, one of the big things they released was... Because normally when they release a new game, they'll do, like, a new crop type or new machines or a new feature or something like that. Mm -hmm. So in the new game, like, one of their things was, oh, we have... It was John Deere. That was when they introduced John Deere into the game. Which is shocking that it took them all the way to Farming Simulator 19 to get John Deere. Are you serious? I think that's when they added it in. Well, isn't this a German game? It is, yeah. It's based out of Germany. Actually, I think the company's based out of Switzerland, but it's most of their headquarters in like Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Giant Software is the name of the company. That makes sense. But yeah, but no, John Deere is actually really big in Europe. It is. It's huge. I thought it was Tons kind of, of it. like a, yeah, USA. Well, I mean, they France. have the U. No, no, John Deere is a very good company. Oh, they're okay. all they're all about the the moolah. The oh yeah, which is they wanna... why they would go international. Right. So they they okay. actually are. Um, I've actually heard from some. Some American farmers that like if you, what they'll do sometimes is it's actually cheaper for them to fly to Europe, buy John Deere equipment there, and ship it back to the U.S. That's cheaper than buying it in the U.S. Sometimes. What? Which is wild, to me. Wow. Well, like, that, like that's it, actually, like I guess I think at was, that point you're just being. Wouldn't is there an objective? Is a John Deere so much better that you would want to just do that? Because at that point, I, you just get I mean, it from like like an auction or a used I don't know. Farm equipment store. I don't That's know, but I guess but there's some farmers that like will fly to Europe and buy a whole bunch of John Deere Man, equipment and pay brand to loyalty. That. Yeah, I mean, I guess I there's that. It. Yeah. Yep. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't imagine. We were not that wealthy of a farm. <laughs> You guys weren't flying to Europe to buy it and ship it back to the U.S. No. Go to Paris, get a baguette, buy a tractor. <laughs> Have a cup of coffee. Ah, yes, yeah, a little espresso. Oh, a classic before. weekend. A classic weekend. Oh, see you guys next month. <laughs> Gosh. No, we did not do that. Um, oh, goodness. Okay, so you were talking about animals. Uh, you yeah, want to see so then, animals. So then and they also released <clears throat> horses. That was when they added horses for from 19. So can you ride the horses? You can. Okay, good. It's pretty sweet. You can ride them. Matter of fact, that's how you train them to make them worth more money. That's oh. how the feature works. Um, they're less, much less profitable in uh, farming store twenty. In farming store nineteen, you bought them for five thousand dollars, and then after you rode them, you had to ride them for five minutes a day, which actually took a long time. That's five real minutes. So like you had to ride them for five minutes a day for ten days, so fifty minutes of your time, which is a lot of time when that's you're playing a video time. game. Yeah, but. You bought them at five grand, and after that, that ten days passed, and you ride them five minutes a day. They're now worth fifty thousand dollars. Are you kidding? So, like, you, and then they came out with like mods, not for console players, unfortunately, but for PC players. And I always ran them. Where like it charged you like three hundred dollars a day, and someone would ride your horse. You never had to ride them. You just had to feed them, and so you just had to wait ten days, and then you just sold them all for fifty so grand, straight up. So just, <laughs> is it guaranteed? Do they never go lame or like? Yeah, no, they're good. Guaranteed. Invincible horses. Invinci oh yeah. Wow. You can hit them with a truck. They're fine. This These game sounds way more fun than real life farming. Oh, for sure. For <laughs> sure. I like some people. It's, it's like funny. Like the community has like the super realists that are like, I want it to be more realistic. And people are like, I want it to be less realistic. So Giants like tries to meet in the middle. And yeah. there's a lot of customization where like you can turn weeds off. You can turn field stones off, which field stones are a new feature, which is pretty cool. Like field stone, stone, like if you, oh, call, yeah, like you stones have to up, remove them and they'll damage your equipment. Yeah. If you don't get rid of them. But uh, you can turn on like field stone, weeds, liming, like stuff like, like you can turn off things to make it just simpler. Okay. And you can also adjust the economy. So like you can make way more money or way less money based on your harvest and stuff like that. And you can just cheat money in if you want to. You can just do whatever you want. Cheat money in. Yep. You can just, there's literally a mod that if it just hit F12, scroll over, I'd be like, yeah, add $10 million. Mm -hmm. And it just sits there. That's great. Very realistic. Wow. Uh, so. <laughs> Press F12 to make money. <laughs> yeah, but it's like the Giants does actually, I think, I, uh, props to Giants. They do a very good job of like keeping it in the middle ground as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. But like the super realistic players, like some of the stuff they ask for sometimes, I'm like, which is, and they have mods that you can mod. The game's very moddable. So right. you can mod it to make it more realistic. But sometimes they ask stuff that I'm like, you're making it like exactly like real life farming if it, they did that. And no one would play the game except for you. Like, it'd be so hard to play that it would just be annoying, and it would be... Then you're bringing in the... It's no longer fun. Mm -hmm. You're bringing in the frustrations of real-life farming <laughs> into this video game, which is supposed to be fun, and now you're just angry like a regular farmer. <laughs> you're just always angry. You're so angry. You're so, you're I'm sorry. There's probably farmers out there going to... Because there's actually a lot of farmers that play the game, and uh, 
uh, which I, I actually understand. Well, that's because there's a reason that farmers do farming. Is because down to its basic principles, farming is actually enjoyable. Like, you go and you plant stuff and it grows and you harvest it. It's an enjoyable process. That makes sense. But there's tons of other things that make it one of the most stressful jobs. Yeah, there's frustrations for sure that go in there. And I'm not I'm speaking from experience at all. I'm not a real farmer. I'm a virtual farmer. Very proud of my virtual mm-hmm. farming. But uh, it's very stress-free. Uh, <laughs> as it should be. As it should be, would, yeah. If it was like stress- going to your farm on your computer just like, Oh, oh gosh, gosh. the crop, oh, we're no. losing money. We're losing money this year. The crop. The government's coming after me oh, for gosh. that soil oh, percentage of H. The used tractor I bought for my neighbor is just not working. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get a replacement for it. I'm so in debt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Really hope I make yield this year. <laughs> Oh, oh I can't wait to go, go back to work tomorrow with my actual job. <laughs> I can't, yeah. Me as a cop, I cannot wait to do police work over playing this stupid video game. I would much rather fight bad guys in the street than play this stupid video. You know, it's just, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awful if it was so, just that bad. Oh, right. oh. But any, anyhow, Precision Farming's coming, guys. It's great. It looks um, great. It looks great. It's it seems great. fun. Yep, there's this manure thing, a manure sensing system. That sounds kind of fun. Mm. Um, what else we got here? Oh, well, variable rate seeding and drilling. Like, part of it, when they came out with Precision Farming in FarmSim 19, it's a free download, by the way. So anyone can have it for free if they want to play with it. Nice. Which is pretty cool. Because, like, a lot, of ga- a lot of game companies will charge you, like, stuff for that, for all the extra stuff. Which, it, Giants is pretty good. About. I mean, they do have stuff that they charge, like, DLC packs they'll release, but... Um, you get like soil maps, so they'll have different soil types. Like, oh, what is this soil information? Uh, like seed, seed rate. rate. Let's say I can't read that, but yeah, look at this. And then they have different sand, uh, soil types. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Like loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, and silty clay. And they'll have different. There's actually a lot to this one. That is. I gotta do a bunch of tutorial videos on this, so it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, so just remember that if you're watching this right now, remember how little I know about this because I haven't read any of these and know that I'm going to put together some comprehensive tutorials when this comes out. Wow. But right now, I know nothing when about it. When does it come out? Uh, on the 19th. The 19th. It's coming up so uh, Tuesday. Two days to become an expert. Yeah. Right, well, I'll be working Monday night, so I literally will become an expert the day it comes out. <laughs> That's my plan. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, I'm all about it. It's going right. to be great gonna be great i'm sure i'll figure it out but uh yeah so it's it's, it's gonna be great precision farming is coming out and then we also have uh there's some fact sheets coming out for a content update that's coming out to the game um and this actually cracks me up so this the first one is it's a it's a class tractor it's a zerion 504500 that's fine great show that off mm-hmm. that makes sense yeah. that fact sheet makes sense the next thing is this little guy what is that is it's that a just little, a forklift but look at the look at how he's sitting in there is he sitting in he's it sitting sideways? He's sitting facing sideways. It's the the Jingen Richen Jingen ETV Jingen Richen Jingen Rich. I don't know. Poison, <laughs> poison. Uh, sorry if you guys that aren't seeing what we're talking about. I know that's not on the on the screen, but it's like it's it's this weird forklift thing. Costs thirty nine thousand five hundred euros. Four dollars per pound. Oh, is it one to one? They just do that to make it easy. Yeah, it'd be really a bummer if you're running the farm on like I don't know if you just. If There's you just, probably a mod for real. There is actually. Yeah, yeah. there is. Yeah. There is a mod out there. Probably you. You can adjust uh, it to all sorts of different currencies. Like you can put it in yen, and like yen. it's like yen. Like the proportions like way higher. It's like oh wow yeah. Like I don't. What is the conversion for U.S. dollars to? I think it's the Chinese yen. Oh, it's one to six thirty-seven. Maybe that's, it's the maybe it's the Russian Russian rubles. There it is. That oh, was that's high, that was like so. If you bought a tractor for a hundred thousand U.S. dollars, you'd have to pay eight million seventy five thousand rubles. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I apologize uh, for that. So anyhow, like there's some interesting yeah. currencies in it. But so this thing is, is it is cool. It is cool. Like I don't understand it, and I'll probably never use it. But it's the coolest thing if I've ever. You're going seen. for like. I could see it being helpful if you have your docks just packed to the brim. Yeah, it'd be you can only get like a, a factory. You can only get a man-sized forklift. Yeah, it's I literally just, very compact. Yeah, 
I just it's like the smart car of forklifts <laughs> is the way I kind of like and it's and it's electric too so that game has electric, electric cars there's electric cars and there's actually a methane powered tractor and really game. yeah do you get uh those environment points for that too no there's no you don't get any environment points oh, for that okay no you just get to feel good about it yeah you feel, exactly that's it's, that's really what it's that's all about. The, it's all about feeling good <laughs> that's that's all about feeling good yeah, it's got a whopping 33 horsepower as well. It weighs 3.5 tons, which is, that seems like a lot for the Silicai, but um, they probably have weighted it up, though, so you can lift pallets and stuff, so it's probably quite heavy as far as that goes. Tons? 3.5 tons. In and they're usually that? pretty accurate for this, but 3.5 tons, like, how did they? You just put solid gold just in there. Just lead. It's just, just lead. Absolute <laughs> lead. <laughs> just solid lead. The they're world. like they're like yes this is very good for the environment <laughs> it's great it's not good for you though yeah <laughs> please do not wash this around your crops or animal pens <laughs> it's got lead paint and everything like they're just like all about the lead <laughs> but anyhow, so that thing's pretty cool but then it gets here's where i'm like okay why did we have to highlight this the first thing is the salic akp 122 this is literally a 1.2 meter 1.2 meters that's that's like four feet. Wow! It's a little cultivator. Why is this highlighted? It's very small. We have things like this. Usually, they're like, "Here's something new, cool, big, exciting." Like one of those. This has none of those features. I mean, I'm excited just to get new equipment, but it's just I'm just like look. I was like, okay, that's yeah, that's something. Requires only ten horsepower to run. So literally anything that forklift could have run it yeah yeah <laughs> could have run it twice can over you <laughs> yeah forklift pull. can you do that can you hook cultivators you, you up can, to a forklift you probably could you just have to get like if it had like a hitch on it i mean you can mod anything in the game yeah so you could strap a three-point link on it or whatever you wanted in the game if you knew how to mod but that'd be pretty funny that'd someone be pretty out funny. there mod me a forklift that's for field work <laughs> that's what i need that's that's my new i need one of those and then there's this little trailer here they made, which I'm also like, I don't know why we need this. It holds, I, and this drives me crazy. Why are there uh, so many emojis? Oh, is that what the, it can hold? The build types, yeah. <laughs> the emojis. Is there anything <laughs> it can't hold? It uh, looks like everything on there, including snow. You can load oh. it up with snow if you want it to. But we have wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, olives, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, chopped beets, sugar cane, seeds, PMR, forage, calf. Wood chips, grass, hay, straw, silage, stones, uh, lime, manure, fertilizer, mineral feed, pig food, and that one. That one. I Is that it's... toxic waste? Is that a barrel? No, I think it's salt. I think it's like road salt. But this thing holds six, 1.6 meters cubed, so 1,600 liters. The game does all their measurements for volume in liters. Right. Uh, so there's no bushels or anything. Uh, so I, I can imagine if you were like, for me, I don't know what a bushel is. Like you couldn't be like, I couldn't describe a bushel. I've heard what I've heard the term bushel, and like I understand that like American farmers harvest in bushels. Like that's the unit they use, right? Yeah. Like what did you guys use? I think we used bushels. Um, we also did tons. Okay, of, that makes sense. Of crop, I think I'm probably wrong because. We we no longer farm. The last time I was on our family farm, I was like twelve. But I think there's something about the contents of a entire load harvested by a combine that I think is a technical bushel. Unless I'm wrong. Unless you know the whole way. thing. Yeah, a, a combine full. Unless I'm is wrong. a bushel that can't be it. Yeah, it's like a small unit. Like what is a bushel? Uh, let's do bushels, bushels to liters. Let's see what that is. Okay, one bushel is 35 liters. Okay. So 35 liters a crop. But mm, let's what see if I was right. is a bushel? A bushel. There we go. Actually, I can actually Google it. A measure of capacity equal to 64 U.S. pints. Pints. Used for dry goods. A uh, measure of capacity equal to three, eight imperial gallons. I was way off. Yeah, that's not, not nope. what it was. There's probably a different term for that, though. Yeah. But, yeah, okay. so this thing holds 1,600 liters. But I, I would imagine, like, if you were, like, someone who, like, actually farms for you, like, if you were an American farmer and you operate in bushels and you understand... It's like, think about it. Like, if you went... If I went to Europe and they were using kilometers, 
I would like it would take me my mind would have to process like if he said, "Hey, it's ten kilometers that way," I have to process that. But if he said, "Hey, it's ten miles that way," yeah, like I know I understand miles, and so like I would in my head like, "Okay, ten miles." I know what that is kind of looking like. Yeah, so it's like I, I understand that, but and so it's like if you were if you're an American farmer playing this game, which there are a lot of American farmers that do play this game, um, I think they do it because nothing goes wrong. Like boy, this is just a cakewalk compared to what I did today. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It, it, which is yeah, that makes sense. But it's uh, like then you're getting on here and you're you're operating in liters, so it's like you gotta be confused. Like I would be like frustrated as like do that. I wonder if some of them, if you're a farmer out there, do you like is it confusing at all? Do you care at all? I know that in FS nineteen, <laughs> like towards the end of the cycle, they came out with a mod that converted it to bushels. But then at that point, you've been playing the game for two years. You're like, yeah, we got exactly. leaders. we got leaders locked now. Like, you either do or you don't. Like, if I would open, if I started farming in the U.S., I'd be like, they'd be like, like I would go buy like a trailer. They'd be like, yeah, it holds a thousand bushels. I'd be like, okay, but how many liters? Yeah, does but it what hold? does that mean? I'm like, they're like, what do you mean liters? <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. I play farm sim. I'm a virtual farmer. An I want to know how many liters this thing holds. <laughs> they're like, get out of my store. That would probably be their next response, which is reasonable. But I just, it just like I think about it, it's like I don't know how. I think it's just grandfathered in units. Yeah. Somebody back in like eight thousand BC or AD. AD. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It's like this here, ye be a bushel. <laughs> and I was like, oh okay, yeah, like, oh, a bushel, yeah, yep, great. Yeah. How many bushels you got, Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What's a what? bushel? You don't know what a bushel is, you oh, nerd. <laughs> Did you hear that Craig came out with a bushel? <laughs> it's the new Craig had, Craig had this amount of this crop, and it's it's a bushel. It's like the bushel discount, and the then bushel. everybody was given the bushel discount. <laughs> Somebody named Bushel came up with the bushel. Robert Bushel came up with the bushel. <laughs> Uh, history <laughs> just for another day there's probably people like listening to this they're like like no 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 no, no you're so wrong like well yeah i don't know what i'm talking Bushel's about. great 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 grandchild is like oh can't believe you'd be ruining my family name it's like it was danny bush well not robert bush that came up with it you idiots oh gosh oh we're sorry mr bushel <laughs> mr bushel <laughs> gosh that's hilarious uh well anyhow um should we move on to the next thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that's what our farm some stuff so the next thing we're gonna try to do anytime we do a podcast we're gonna try to do a crime of the week so this week i didn't actually choose a crime specifically and we'll do washington stuff because i understand washington like there's some weird crimes in washington yeah we not worry, there's plenty of yeah. stuff in washington oh yeah there's plenty of weird stuff in washington to talk about don't you worry about that if you're worried about weird stuff in washington you're <laughs> gonna be worried for a long time I just don't know uh, there's enough <laughs> there's no. enough. yeah there's plenty don't you worry yeah. guys but th- this this week i'm gonna talk about what's called a gross misdemeanor no. Ew. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that, what gross means so the the in Washington there's what are called and well every state has what are called classifications of crimes. In Washington there is misdemeanors at the very bottom, lowest level crime. Then a step up from that is our lovely gross misdemeanors. Then we go class C felony, then B felony, A felony. So like murders and A felony. And then a misdemeanor at the very bottom is resisting arrest, of course, the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. If you resist the police, that's a okay in Washington. That is yeah, yeah. minimum that's for that. Hardly an offense. Encouraged, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but but anyhow, so now um yeah, so it's the very, very bottom of the barrel as far as that goes. But then a gross misdemeanor is a touch above that. Now a lot of states will have different classes of misdemeanors, which is is that makes sense to some degree. But Washington is the only state in the United States that I can find. I did research on this. I didn't do I didn't it wasn't like I did a, you know an expose paper on it that was 50 pages about all the classifications of crime right. in the states. But I did research and the only one I can find is Washington that has gross misdemeanors. So I don't know why we have them, but here's what Wikipedia says about the matter. It says in the United States law, but it says United States law. So I don't know if there's other places to have this. It says a gross misdemeanor is a crime which is more serious than a regular misdemeanor, but is still classified as a minor crime. So as opposed to serious crimes. 
how would like, you quantify that I, socially? I don't know. It's like like the lowest when somebody level... like gets a water cup from McDonald's and then puts pop in it instead. I'm just like ah, how despicable. How despicable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I, it's it's such, a, it's such a strange. It's like, but there are more technical. Wait, there's. A price value to this. Typically, the maximum sentence oh, yeah. in one year in county jail and or five thousand dollars in fines. Yep. So this is a five thousand dollar maximum crime. It's a gross misdemeanor. Yep. 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 One year. Well, misdemeanor is maximum ninety days in Washington. That is, uh-huh. and a gross misdemeanor is max of a year. A maximum of a year. Have I you feel- ever? Have you ever? Given somebody a gross misdemeanor all the time. Most one of the most common things because, like, you think of Washington. There's like, oh, so this isn't a, an unusual thing. No, 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 no. It's super common. It's just a weird name. Like gross misdemeanor is super common. There are actually I arrest way more gross misdemeanors than I do regular misdemeanors because crimes like assault in the fourth degree, which is the lowest level of assault, in Washington. It's like misdemeanor assault. So it's like assault without any serious injuries or minor injuries only. Uh-huh. That's a gross misdemeanor. Theft in the third degree, which is the lowest level of theft, that's a gross misdemeanor. Really? Yeah. So, like, a lot of, like, low-level crimes are just gross misdemeanors. But then some random ones, like, are just misdemeanors. How recently did this get implemented? This has always been. As oh, far really? as I've always known. Yeah, so, like, the revised code of... When did they come out with the... When did... What do you think? Why do you think they, they came up with the name? Get re- I don't know. Well, obviously... I- Obviously, with what Wikipedia says, which obviously Wikipedia is the most scholarly thing, and there's never any lies on there. It's all 100% correct. <laughs> Very accurate. But I don't know, like, so I'm, I'm guessing that the term gross misdemeanor came out of some United States common law or case law or something where someone said that or something or that's some a, old law a book gross misdemeanor uh, that's a very gross what you did that's that disgusting. That's a dis- disgusting misdemeanor <laughs> so i don't like I, it came from somewhere i'm assuming and then washington's like yeah yeah let's use that yeah so it's, it's, it's interesting <laughs> but and i don't know when the rc did but like the rc has been around for a long time uh, revised code of Washington thing has been around for at least twenty years or so. Okay, I could be wrong. About so it's that. not a new thing. It's not a new thing, and we I think even, and even before that, in the original code of Washington, because the RC, it's weird because we have a re- revised code of Washington, which would imply there's an original code of Washington. So at we some don't point, talk about that one. Yeah, we don't. Can you find that? Anymore? Don't talk about the CW. <laughs> don't talk about the, the code of Washington. Washington. CW. CW. Back in the CW days, I don't even know anything about it or anything like that. I just know obviously what I know. Which is what I call them a gross misdemeanor, and yeah, yep, that's why it's worse than a minor. Just a, it's, a standard. It's like it's like slightly worse than a misdemeanor, but not slightly a worse than a misdemeanor. But it shouldn't be a felony. Felony, felony, felony. It sounds like a felony. Sounds like so aggressive. Like you're gonna arrest for a felony. A felony. <laughs> Mm, Such a nice thing. Yeah, it sounds like a dish. Can I have that? I'll take one. I'll take your. Give me your finest felony, please. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it does kind of sound like that. So, is gross misdemeanor just a placeholder because the misdemeanor doesn't mean anything anymore? Could be. Yeah, because the misdemeanor is so weak. I don't like. Wait a second. We can't arrest anybody. But like, if if there's like, there's only a handful of misdemeanors, and all of them are gross misdemeanors anyway. Why don't we just get rid of the gross misdemeanor and make them all misdemeanors? And then if you wanted to, all you have to do is say, hey, these misdemeanors are punishable by more serious things. Yeah. Or just, I don't know, it just seems dumb to me. <laughs> like, I don't know why they call it that. It is dumb. Um, like, I, I, every time I've, I guess, ever, I've never told someone, you're under arrest for this for assault fourth degree, a gross misdemeanor. I just, I just tell them it's a misdemeanor because it is a type of misdemeanor. I kind of like having the name gross in it, though, because then you can add a little bit more shame to the <laughs> crimes that was committed. <laughs> shame. Shame, shame on, you. on you and your gross. It's gross. <laughs> Maybe I should start telling people it's gross more. I don't ever tell people it's that. It's a gross arrest, misdemeanor. You're going to arrest for assault. Maybe a it was a psychological misdemeanor. tactic. Maybe it is. Stop committing crime. More oh, often. my goodness. That could Maybe be it's it. like I've been going about this all adding, along. Adding verbal <laughs> you've confirmation. Changed, you have officially changed my mind on this topic. Let's get rid of misdemeanors. Make everything a gross misdemeanor. I came into this conversation advocating to abolish the gross <laughs> misdemeanor term, and now I'm on board 100%. They should even have like we should. Why stop at gross misdemeanors? What's another name for a misdemeanor we could give? Um, it's highly unrecommended. <laughs> <laughs> 
recommended misdemeanor. Well, this falls in line with our crime t-shirts that we were thinking of. <laughs> yes, that's right. Don't do crime. Don't do crime. <laughs> it's funny. It's like, I. it was, uh, if some of you guys may know Brian Regan, uh, who is a comedian. Uh, very funny. Recommend him. Uh, but one of his things he was talking about in one of his comedy stand-ups was he was talking about how the phrase when he was growing up as a kid, and it's so true, was like on all the crime, the, like the teachers were like, like, don't do, if you can't do the time, don't, don't do, do the, the crime. crime. Yeah. He's like, I don't think that's the right message. He's like, how about this? Don't do crime. <laughs> like, it's like, I can't. It's, it's so true. It's like, and then he and then he goes on and talks about it more. He's like, he's like, oh, I don't have crime for, I don't have time for, for that. But, you know, 30 days in the county jail, I've got time for that. I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, take yeah, a long like, weekend yeah. in the prison. <laughs> Taking just a vacation. <laughs> this will get me away from my kids for 30 days. It'd be great. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, that's great. I I appreciate the the verbal confirmation of somebody's behavior with gross. With gross. I, I find it is uh is littering a gross misdemeanor or is that just a misdemeanor? Um so littering's interesting. Oh, is it? In Washington. There's actually three levels of Littering. I guess that makes sense because was so, littering nuclear waste be considered? I don't even know about that. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm just talking about just random trash. Three levels. So oh, three, the, the, the random trash. trash. Just don't. I don't even know about if someone was dumping nuclear waste. I'd be like, all right, I got to get a law book. Yeah. Out the point. I, was like, I was like, all I know is you're going to jail. I don't know what for yet, but you're going to jail. So you're detained until I figure I what know you're this going should to not be happening. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna get a sergeant down here because I don't know what to arrest you for, and they're probably not either because we don't want people dumping nuclear waste waste around here. So we're gonna find out what to get you for, but no. So, <laughs> at so least the, littering. Yeah, at least littering. Littering and. <laughs> but uh, no, so there's three levels of littering. Okay. The bottom one is a civil infraction. So civil infraction. Ticket. Civil littering. 100, I think it's a hundred thirty nine dollar ticket. Uh-huh. That's like you threw your gum wrapper out of your car. Well, now That's I thought bad, of another that would one. Cost me one hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, very expensive ticket there. Wow. I've never written someone a littering ticket. No, that's not true. I have. You have? I have. Was it because they were being... No, it was because they put a bunch of their trash in someone else's trash can. I was like, you know what? You're getting a ticket. Yeah. I was like, you deserve it. Come on. Anyhow, um, I could have technically arrested them, but that's, I didn't. So, But that's where we get to the next level of littering. Well, on that one, for civil infractions, there's, there's littering, and then there's also littering potentially dangerous litter, which is like a dangerous. cigarette butt. Oh. Because it could potentially cause a fire. So that's a thousand dollar ticket now, or over a thousand dollars. It's like a jump. Wow! So that's a big one. That's a big one. And then, uh, then we get into the next level of literature. Seems justified so far, though. Right? Yeah, that seems like that's that. like for like I. I don't feel if you're out there, if you're if you're listening to this, you're like, darn it, I litter all the time, and this is stupid. These littering laws—they're taking away our freedoms. Like that's ridiculous. Littering is bad. Don't do it. Yeah, don't I do mean, crime. Some people, I mean, I probably, I probably accidentally littered stuff on accident, or something's flown out of my desk. Like it happens. Yeah, so. you get that receipt. Yeah, it flies it out of your car. Flies out of your car, and, and you, then you farmer get, cop I mean, comes up and said, "What's that on the ground?" <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's one hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> but then the next level livering is livering, littering, littering, not livering. Level I don't even know three. what that would be. But littering is a misdemeanor. And it's if you litter more than a cubic foot. So if you have a a police department issued measuring tape for this kind of thing. (laughs) Just got my cubic foot box. I'm like, hold on, let me go get my littering boxes. boxes. (laughs) I'm putting all the stuff they littered in this box. Oh, we're over a cubic foot. And it doesn't say how to measure it. It's not like, well, if I just have like a bunch of trash. That's probably put in there and it like is more than that. Or what if you had to compact it? Like it doesn't say. I don't know anyone who's ever made a littering arrest. So I'm like, you're like, I don't know what to what to do with that. I'm like, I don't. Know. How, the law doesn't. They're like, I know, I'd rather the person clean it up. Yeah. Rather than just like, I'm gonna arrest you and this is gonna stay right here. Yeah, and this is gonna stay. <laughs> this is gonna stay right here while I take you to jail. Okay. Cleaning up America, <laughs> Washington <laughs> Police Department. That's right. Well, there's so many laws in like other states and federal laws too, where it's like. They write the law with like just the best intentions, and then you read the law, you're like, "You guys are missing a lot of key information yeah. here." It's like, how do you expect us to enforce this? <laughs> but and we of course, should, we should think of a new law. We should. We should start writing. If the our government laws. can do it. We can do it. 
armor cop. I mean, that's not quite true, but yeah, I like the idea. No, we'll, we'll be a crime think tank. A crime think tank. <laughs> we'll just start lighting, writing letters to our congressmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. what you'd write them for. We're like, look, we got this whole litter reform bill. We're ready. <laughs> We'd like to submit <laughs> gum wrappers as potentially dangerous. Because I saw somebody choke Wait. on one. <laughs> because he accidentally <laughs> didn't unwrap his gum. <laughs> I also vote that gum is illegal now. It seems too dangerous because you can choke on it. Oh, gosh. This is great. Uh, this is really good. I, and then we get to the final level of littering, though. We can't miss this one. Oh, right. Level three. This is our favorite, the gross misdemeanor littering. And this one is... I've been waiting it's, for this. It's over a cubic <laughs> yard. Over a so now you need a bigger box to That's put all the litter in to see if it's over that. Farmer cop. Or you can just have your litter cube, your one foot, your cube. cubic foot, and you keep cubic foot, <laughs> cubic foot. I can't talk. I've been up all night, people. But anyhow, <laughs> you get your cubic foot one, and then what you do is maybe you fill it. If you fill it, how many would that be? 9, 18, 18, 27. You fill it 27 times, mm -hmm. then you get the cubic yard, yeah. if my math is correct. Yeah. So you just got to, oh, that's one, dump it, fill it up again, that's two, <laughs> dump it. Oh, you're lucky, only 26 of these this time. Phew. You're going to get the misdemeanor, not the gross misdemeanor. <laughs> the, the clean misdemeanor, <laughs> if you will. The, well, I guess that kind of does imply. If it's one gross misdemeanor, then is the other one the clean misdemeanor? I guess Does so. it imply that? A clean misdemeanor. It's like, oh, yes, resisting arrest. Very clean misdemeanor. Very clean. <laughs> spotless misdemeanor. Spot this spotless. <laughs> Shiny misdemeanor. So your record is still very clean. You still right. have a clean record if you <laughs> get arrested for a clean misdemeanor. It's like, oh, yes, uh, I see you haven't committed that. Well, you committed a clean misdemeanor, but that's fine. That's your yeah, record's that's fine. Still your your that's record's fine. still clean. Yeah, Wait, very, is it actually clean? You have a clean record if you no. don't. Oh, okay. Well, no, no, it'll be on there. Thank <laughs> Maybe. 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 Depends I mean, on what? I don't know. I that was the longest pause we've had this entire time. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's clicking away now. Like, ah, oh, this is... Mm -hmm. they're getting, now they're developing. They're, they've gone off the deep end. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know how it, like, ends up... I know that if they get... If someone gets arrested and they get fingerprinted and photographed, mm -hmm. that it will always show up on their record that they got arrested but obviously an arrest is not a conviction so convictions will always show up if you get convicted of a crime it'll always be on your record it'll always show up i see now i don't know how like you can get like juvenile records sealed and all that i'm not excuse me an expert on like the court stuff as far as that goes but um so i don't know how all that works but anyhow um there it is gross misdemeanors gross misdemeanors that's our that's our cop talk uh for the that's our crime of the week um yeah do you do you have anything else, or should we get? We probably get. I mean, we've been going for a while. Yeah, we have been going. What time are we at? Right We're now? at uh, forty eight minutes, just about. Oh wow! So we've been going for a while. Yeah, this has been yeah. a successful first episode. Yeah, this has been great. Right. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. I mean, give us tips. Um, if there's any, the audio should hopefully be okay. We're gonna get some better audio set up as well uh, as we get cruising through this, and then hopefully we'll put our faces on it. We'll actually record. Uh, a video of us doing this basically so obviously if you're listening to it we still want to make it where you can listen to it so it's not really a show we still want to have the podcast format but if you do happen to watch it on youtube then you actually get more out of it so like I, we want to make sure you guys can kind of enjoy it however you want so if that's that makes sense right. that's kind of the goal so we'll hopefully get all that set up um i'm excited to get a little studio I'll take a portion of my studio and set it up as a little podcast studio area so um, we'll do that, but uh, yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. We have uh, plenty of other stuff we want to do as far as plans that we want to do, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed that. Yeah, um, I let think us that's... know in the comments. Yeah, let us know down in the comments what you guys thought of the first episode here, but I think that's probably pretty good for us for the first one. I think so. that's good, FC. Yeah, I think it's good. T. -t <laughs> <laughs> Don't say my name. Don't talk down here. <laughs> I have a once a month renewal on my name. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, you know, guys, um, I'll give my, uh, yeah, you know, if you guys are just joining us here, if you guys have not subscribed to the Farmer Cop channel, make sure you guys do. Make sure you drop a like down below if you guys are watching this on YouTube. Um, I don't know. Make sure you guys subscribe. Is there subscribing on podcasts and Apple? So probably. You do. Yeah, you can follow things. Yeah, you follow it. That's right. That's yeah. the term. Make sure follow you follow us on everything. Make sure you smash the follow button. <laughs> They always say smash the like button. Gently so figured, tap the subscribe. <laughs> Gently tap. People are like, we broke our phone screens. What? How yeah. hard did you? <laughs> no, don't, don't use a weapon. 
to, to activate it. Any, 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 I, I don't know. Does this touchscreen support 22 caliber? <laughs> Just shoot it. We would appreciate the support, but yeah. we don't want you to break your stuff. Don't break your stuff. So just support us gently. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, guys, thank you guys Thanks for coming everybody. watching. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one, hopefully next week. If not, it'll be in a couple weeks. But we'll try to do one every week. So see you guys in the next see one. Bye-bye.